Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you how to calculate cap on beta and cap on alpha. So if you remember the cap on equation is Re is equal to your Rf plus beta times Rm minus Rf. This is, is your, um, this means your return on equity is equal to your risk free rate plus beta times um, return on market minus risk free rate. Now we can rewrite this function. So this function we already know. So we can rewrite this function as I am uh, moving this risk free rate RF to left hand side and then I can say RE minus RF is equal to beta times RM minus RF. So this is your return on equity minus risk free rate is equal to beta times your return on market minus risk free rate. All right. Now this RE minus RF is nothing but your excess return on equity and RM minus RF is nothing but your excess return on market. So we can say that excess return on equity is equal to beta times excess return on market. Now if you remember the regression function, right? So y is equal to a plus bx. So here y represents your excess return on equity and x represents your excess return on market. Now b represents your beta and here of course a represents alpha and then here a is 0, right? Because we can see a is not there, so a is 0. Now, so basically with this equation, we can easily say that so y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable and a is definitely my intercept and uh, beta or b is the slope. So by looking at this equation, we can tell that that my excess return on equity is equal to beta times of excess return on market, which means your excess return on equity is proportional to excess return on market and that relationship depends upon the value of beta. So if beta is greater than 1, that you can say that my return on equity is more volatile than the market and if beta is less than 1, then I can say the return on equity is less volatile than the market. Now we can calculate, um, you know, my uh, intercept which is alpha or slope which is beta. Now from this equation also we can say if I will take this a or alpha to the left hand side then I can say a is equal to y minus bx. So y is here my excess return on equity and x is here my excess return on market. So let's do this um, you know in a spreadsheet and to calculate uh, you know here to understand this relationship and I can tell you at the end of this video you can understand how to calculate also. All right. Now here what I have taken, I have taken one uh, stock or equity which is um, artisan global opportunities and here I taken S&P 500 which is my market. So I have the price for a stock, I have price for uh, you know market. Then I have risk free rate which is T-bills and uh, here what I did, I just first calculated my return on equity. So my equity here is definitely uh, you know artisan global. So what I did, I just calculate the return. How I did that? That today's return divided by yesterday's return minus one. This simple formula here. So I just calculated this month here, and then I calculate my return on market. So this is market. So I'm I just calculated. So today's price of S and P 500 divided by yesterday's minus one. The same way. So I got here return on equity and return on market. Now next is I have to calculate the excess return on equity and excess return on market. So how I do that? So I will deduct the return on equity minus risk free rate. I will get return excess return on equity. The same way, you know, I have to calculate the uh, excess return on market. So for that, what I need to do, I need to exactly, I need to do the same. So I will deduct return on market minus risk free rate. I will get the excess return on market. So finally, I got excess return on equity and excess return on market. Now I'm going to use these two column 
to in this equation to calculate alpha and beta so in excel there is one function called slope so here what i did i just calculate my kappa and beta so i just simply put the uh, formula as slope so i am putting slope so let's do this here so the moment you put it so let's do slope and then it is asking my nose y so what is your y variable your y variable is your access return on equity so that is my y variable because that depends upon my x variable which is access return on market because as i told you so access return on equity is proportional to access return on market and that relationship depends upon the beta so your y variable here is access return on equity which is this one so let's take here to here and then put comma and then it is asking me what is my known x so definitely my x is your access return on market which is this one now if you put this then you keep enter you will get a result 1.08 so as i told, told you earlier if my beta is greater than zero then definitely so return on equity is more volatile than the market greater than sorry if, if my beta is greater than one then uh, you know my return on equity is more volatile than the market so here it is 1.08 so definitely i can say that uh, you know so artisan global is more volatile than the market which is s and 500 okay now next we can calculate the alpha or kappa alpha um, you know so how to do that so definitely by this equation we can see this alpha is nothing but your intercept so you can simply put that intercept and then exactly you can put your y variable and then x variable then you get the alpha values let's do it so what we can do what you can do here is um, i'm just deleting this and then I'm, I'm putting so intercept and then it's asking exactly y variable as i told you my y variable is um, you know access return equity so you put this and then you have to put comma and then you have to do your access return on market which is my x variable do that one and then you put enter and you can say it is uh, you can uh, you can put up you can see this as a percentage 0.02 percent so this is your intercept or you can say alpha now um, as i told you earlier so jensen alpha is basically your excess return on equity minus beta into excess return on market now this this formula is came from this equation if you see here as i as we have y is equal to a plus bx now a is your alpha so i am saying i am putting a is here so my alpha is equal to y minus bx so y is your so access return on equity then minus beta into access return on market so this is nothing but your this equation okay so to calculate jensen alpha we can do the same formula here i just put i just put this formula and get so exactly i will get the same uh, you know result here definitely because this is uh, what it is defined from here so people often you know ask a question is there any difference between your capm alpha and jensen alpha it is the same there is there is no difference and and you will get the same result okay because this is coming from this one anyway so there is another way to calculate your alpha and beta uh, you know through your regression function in excel so why people use um, a regression function uh, rather than doing that so that is another way to do it so also let me show you this uh, before that what you need to do uh, you need to go to your data and you have to see whether you can see your data analysis tool here if it is not there then you have to download okay so for that i have already made another video in youtube you can see there and you can down you have to manually download this data analysis tool um, i'm going to put that link in the description please go through that link and download this data data analysis tool okay so what you need to do here so go to your data now go to data analysis and then there is a function called regression 
so you have to click on regression then okay so here you go so it is asking me my input range my output range so click on my input range so definitely sorry so my y range oh, y range y is definitely as i told you my access return on equity and then you have to put my x range which is access return on market so this one and then this output range you have to put where you uh, where you want to you know put the output so here i want to put my output here so click on that and then press okay so the moment click, click the moment you will click on okay you will get a summary output of your regression function now here you can see the intercept and here you can see the slope so slope is like um, make this two decimal so which is um, 1.08 okay and if you see here the beta is 1.08 this is also 1.0 it will be exactly same now uh, go to intercept or you can say your alpha so you can see this as a percentage so i can see um, my percent 0.02 percent and this is your alpha 0.02 percent but people use use this function because they often use this p value so what is that p value is basically they look for at least 95 percent um, you know uh, significance level so what i can tell you if if i am uh, i am keeping 95 percent as a significant level that i am saying if this is um, you know less than five percent i mean this p value is less than five percent then i will accept it or else i will reject it so it means that um, you know so let's change this to number format so let's change this to two decimal so i'm going to do this as a format cell and then um, you know here you go to number and i'm going to four decimal okay and then you can see here this the two p values for two so the intercept the p value is 0 0.91 which is greater than five percent so definitely if it is greater than five percent so i am not going to um, you know this is this this is this value this p value is not um, you know um, you can say useful because uh, i'm going to reject that um, but here you can see this is less than five percent all right so this uh, you know beta value is useful and i can this is significant for me so this is how you can use your regression function to get alpha and beta as well so so this is this this is how um, you know you can calculate your alpha and uh, beta jensen alpha through this model um, and through this actual function so um, i'm going to uh, create another video how to calculate your alpha and beta uh, for a portfolio as well and also how to calculate all these things in python and other programming language you can also have a look if you want to so thank you so much for watching this and i hope this video will uh, you know help you to understand or oh, you know between the relation between alpha beta and how to calculate this in action thank you so much for watching this video